Now, it looks like that famous recluse, otherwise known as the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry might actually grace us with his presence once again over here on national television in the United Kingdom. But what could possibly be the occasion be? Of course, you know, what you have to remember is both Harry and Meghan famously claimed that they wanted privacy. Seemingly all the while over these last few years, they've done nothing but, of course, caught the media, make sure that they're the full centre of attention. And now what we find with Prince Harry coming up this week he wants to be noted, he wants to be taken notice of, and more importantly, he wants you to listen. Let me explain. It's been lovely to see you today. We're in the very heart of London. We'll have a quick wave. Are you all right? Not bad, thank you. A little bit warm here, as you can see, but lovely nonetheless. Absolutely lovely. And it's strange, as I said in a previous video, walking around the centre of London, which I don't normally get time to do, you just realise how many places have changed. Some might suggest not for the better, you know what I mean? Sad when you see wonderful restaurants closed down that have held so many spectacular events, so many wonderful people, and now it's kind of like a McDonald's, and you think, is this where it's at? I remember being a bit disappointed by the Paramount, actually, in New York City, the home for me, of course, of Frank Sinatra, the Bobby Soxers, that sort of thing, and the very big movie premieres. Sadly now, of course, something of a fast food restaurant. It's life, I guess, isn't it? Back as ever to your royal story of the day. Interest in this because, as we know, Prince Harry decided to take part in a brand new documentary, all the while, of course, protecting his privacy and that of his wife, Meghan Markle. This, of course, is his ongoing battle with the British media over here. And it also features the likes of Hugh Grant and, do you remember her, the singer Charlotte Church, who made literally millions after singing for people like President Bill Clinton and, of course, the Pope. She decided to go radical, didn't want to be taken that seriously anymore, and of course decided to become a rock chick. Sadly, all of that failed alongside some of her other business ventures, so naturally she wanted her comeuppance by taking on the tabloids herself, and apparently did very well out of it, but now ready to share her story again, for a fee of course. This brand new documentary, Tabloids on Trial, does also feature the former royal known as the Duke of Sussex. And here's where it gets interesting because ITV are refusing to actually confirm or not whether the Duke received a fee to appear on the programme or whether he donated that to charity or indeed wasn't paid at all. You see how murky privacy gets on one side. But what they're hoping to find this week is that Harry may come literally online or through, of course, an interconnection on their breakfast show, Good Morning Britain, or This Morning, to promote said forthcoming programme. You know, to jizz it up a little bit and basically say, this is the reason why you should watch. Now, you can understand that their <laughs> sort of desperation to try and make this programme a little bit tedious, although it might be, all about rich people taking on the tabloids, being paid a considerable amount of money for that problem, and then moving forward, of course, going back on TV to moan about being under trial again. You get how this works. Now, as I've often said, the media works two ways. When you need it, they're there, they love you. Eventually, they turn against you. And this is exactly what Prince Harry found. His, of course, claims are the fact that it ruined relationships and made family members very mistrusting. Either way, this is an ongoing battle and a lot of people are suggesting he should have kept stum until actually the court case. But then again, Prince Harry seemingly never listens to anybody. What they're hoping, though, is this time that they'll listen to him. And what they're hoping, of course, though, is that Prince Harry will say yes to appearing on one of those said shows to try and make sure, of course, that people tune in. Some people say already, and I've seen quite a bit of it, to a rather tedious programme. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.